Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. We went to the 2022 Thoroughbred Makeover at the Kentucky Horse Park in Lexington, Kentucky. I brought along my horse Cheddar, whose jockey club name is Evaluator, and he's a 2015 Thoroughbred Gelding. On Sunday, we left my house in New Jersey around 5 a.m. and drove straight through to Kentucky. We got to our layover barn Sunday around 5 p.m. and Cheddar settled into his new digs almost immediately. The barn we were at used mulch hay for their bedding, which Cheddar very much enjoyed. We got him settled, made sure he had plenty of water and hay for the night, and went back to grab dinner for ourselves. The next morning on Monday, we couldn't check into the horse park before noon, so I decided to pull Cheddar out to let him stretch his legs a little bit in the round pen. To be honest, he pretty much just stood there, so I eventually gave up and took him on a walk. Right around 1 p.m., we loaded up and got over to the horse park. Cheddar was thankfully very easy to get back on the trailer even after our 12-hour drive the day before. Once we checked in, Cheddar passed his arrival exam and we were ready to school. I don't have any videos from our first ride, but Cheddar was feeling a bit tense and a little bit spunky in the schooling ring. Fortunately, he settled right in when he was in the stabling and he was eating, drinking, and sleeping well. He just was a little bit excited to be there. Tuesday was the first day for serious ring familiarization, and by this point I had made friends with our neighbors in stabling, Chloe and Audrey. I was able to team up with them so that we could be filming and ground crew buddies for each other. I went over to the Rolex Arena first, and Cheddar was a lot more settled on this day than he was the day before. He had one silly moment in our first canter in the Rolex when he decided to kick out at my leg, but after that he decided being spunky was too much work and he settled right in. By the time we made it over to the covered arena to school, he was really dead quiet and we just walked around for a little bit. I practiced a quick simple change and then we headed back up to the barn while Chloe got ready to get on her horse, Turkey, for jump schooling. We were asked to help as jump crew while Chloe was doing her ring familiarization. And while we were there, I found out that I am terrified to be jump crew when there are multiple horses in the ring, but I did eventually get the hang of it and I was slightly less terrified by the time we left. On Wednesday morning, Chloe and I went over to the competitive trail course to watch Audrey and Manny, who were the first pair out on course. I absolutely love the camaraderie of the makeover and I loved overhearing the judge as he went by complimenting Manny on how hard he was trying even at the obstacles that scared him. Once Audrey finished, we stuck around to watch a couple of other friends competing in dressage and trail, and then I headed back over to the barn to braid cheddar for our ride later that day. Around noon, I tacked up and hopped on, and we rode over to the Rolex. It was super windy, but cheddar felt really settled. Somehow, as we were riding into the warm-up arena, a huge gust of wind came through and took down the tent for the warm-up steward, and it fell directly onto cheddar. He was such a trooper because he just scooted out from underneath the tent and even though I lost my balance a bit, he didn't freak out and he waited for me to get my bearings and so I managed to stay on and he went right back to work as if that never happened. The most upsetting thing was that my husband missed catching this on video by about 20 seconds so all he captured was the group of volunteers packing up the tent and Cheddar walking around calmly. After our warm up when it was our time to go in, Cheddar trotted right around and went into the ring. He had some really lovely moments in our test, though I felt like we left a couple of points on the table. He ended up scoring a 71%, which was our best score of the season. He then went back in for his demo ride, and even though I could tell he was tired, he put in a solid and clean demo ride as well, and we ended up sitting in 5th place overnight ultimately dropping into 11th overall and 4th amateur by the end of the preliminary competition, which wasn't bad for a horse that was struck by a tent. After my dressage ride, we went back and Chloe got her horse, turkey tacked up and braided, and we went back over to the Rolex for her ride. The skies opened up during hers and it poured briefly during her warm-up, but it started to clear once it was time for her ride in the Rolex. 
I was reading for her and I just really loved their test. So if her horse goes missing, I probably stole him because I think he's really nice. Wednesday ended up being an incredibly long day because after dressage, we still had to go back in for freestyle prop schooling on Wednesday night at 9.50. Someone had accidentally knocked over a sign while schooling their routine, so the staff was reassembling the sign during our prop schooling, which shockingly really bothered Cheddar. So I decided to avoid that part of the ring and only school on the far end. Even though he was pretty tense and worried about the sign, he was actually still fine about the flag and we were able to practice a couple of simple changes because that was something he had really struggled with while we were practicing at home. It wasn't the best schooling session I'd had on Cheddar, but we got the job done and confirmed he could do all of the things he needed to, even if he was tense, which actually made me feel a little bit less worried about his ride the next day since I didn't know how we would feel about the crowd. On Thursday, our freestyle was just before 10 a.m. Since I'm not super used to riding in a costume for me and my horse, I wanted to make sure I had some extra time to get ready, so we got into the horse park pretty early and headed down to the covered arena. I just did a little bit of walk trot warm up with a couple of canter transitions and then Cheddar seemed ready to go in. Weirdly, he was spooked at the end gate, probably because of the signs from the night before and I had to ask for a lead in. But I warmed him up at the trot and canter to give him some time to settle in before I triggered our music. We rode through our freestyle and he put in a clean ride, which was pretty exciting because we hadn't really successfully made it all the way through our routine until we made it to the preliminaries. He was a little sticky for his electric slide and my flag got a little bit tangled, but we managed to get it done and we put in a solid ride. One of the judges really seemed to like his performance, and so we ended the day sitting in fourth place at the end of preliminary competition, which meant we made it into the finales. Just a fun fact, if you had recalled from the day before, he was hit by a tent in the warm-up, and another competitor's freestyle actually included a tent, so I felt like I was being haunted by the tents. But in hindsight, I think they must have been good luck. So. Here's a little clip from their tent routine, and that ended up being the winning pair. To round out the day on Thursday afternoon, we went back to cheer on our friends in their hunter classes. Um, one of my favorite parts about the makeover is watching disciplines that I don't know it as well. I had a couple of friends competing in the hunters and the jumpers, and it was really fun for me to watch them. On Friday morning, we went to the finale briefing and immediately afterwards, we started getting Cheddar ready to go do the finale jogs. I made an effort to clean us both up really nicely and we even came by the jog strip before the actual jog to practice. During our practice jog, Cheddar moved out nicely um, and he was moving freely and he looked really good, but during the real thing, he got a bit nervous and tight over his back and I felt like I was really dragging him down the jog strip. We were sent to the hold box, so I just kept him moving, but for our second jog, I asked the ground crew to give me some help with a lunge whip, and so with a little help from the ground, we were accepted upon representation. After the jogs, we went back down to the covered arena for more ring familiarization. It was definitely good for Cheddar and settled him back down after his traumatic sign experience. But this was one of the busiest warm-up rings I've ever ridden in, and I generally hate a busy arena, so we tried to keep it short and sweet and left while he was happy. On Saturday, which was finale day, I finally got my opportunity to sleep in, since the freestyle wasn't supposed to run until the afternoon. We got over to the horse park, and I did an interview with Joy from Retired Racehorse Radio. As soon as Joy left, I felt a little bit more anxious about my ride, and finally, it was time to head down into the ring. I liked to canter around the covered ring to help Cheddar settle in, but he felt so much more settled in this finale, so even though he was looking at himself in the Jumbotron, I felt like he was ready a lot quicker this time. We started our freestyle, oh, and he ready. did another clean ride. Here we go. Uh -oh.
some parts of our preliminary round were a little bit cleaner, but we had a really good hype squad on the ground throwing my t-shirts into the crowd, and I was actually able to keep my flag from tangling this go around. Unfortunately, some of the other finale contestants had some problems when their horses spooked at themselves on the Jumbotron, and because Cheddar was able to manage that so well, it really helped us move up a bit in the finale. So after our finale round, we headed back into the covered arena and I walked around with Cheddar until they came back out with the ribbons. I was just really excited to have made it into the finales at all. And I didn't even notice at first that we had come in second. I was just so worried about getting back on for my lap of honor that I didn't even look down to notice that my ribbon that I had happily accepted was red, meaning we'd come in second. It was just such an unbelievable moment for me. What a guy! Oh my god, wait, I just saved a second! <laughs> <laughs> so we went back in for the lap of honor with Cheddar and his red ribbon. He was so good. A couple of the other horses had a hard time with the crowd applauding or then the other horses freaking out at the crowd applauding, but Cheddar didn't really care. He just kind of weaved through it and went on about our way. This was my first ever lap of honor, so I have no idea if I did it right, but it was so much fun. So we left the ring and we rounded out the weekend with a few photos in the winner circle and I really couldn't have asked for a better experience. I'm so happy with how everything turned out and Sunday morning we loaded up and headed back home. So all in all, it was a really fantastic week. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like it and subscribe.